Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is evening prayer for Pentecost. And it's also the 50th anniversary of my joining the church. Please join me. Oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, I exalt you, my God, my ruler, and I bless your name forever and ever. Alleluia. Psalm 145, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, I exalt you, my God, my ruler, and I bless your name forever and ever. Every day I bless you, and I praise your name forever and ever. Great are you, my God, and greatly to be praised, and your glory is awesome. One generation shall tell your works to the next and declare your mighty deeds. I speak of the glorious honor of your majesty and of your wondrous works, and people shall speak of your terrible acts, and I will declare your greatness. They shall publish the memory of your great goodness and shall sing of your righteousness. You are gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great loving kindness. You are good to all, and your tender mercies are over all your works. All your works shall praise you, and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your reign, and talk of your power, to make known to the people your mighty acts, and the glory of your strength. Your dominion is an everlasting dominion. Your strength endures from one generation to the next. You uphold all that fall, and raise all that are bowed down. The eyes of the people wait upon you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and sate the desire of every living thing. You are righteous in all your ways and holy in all your works. You are close to all that call upon you, to all that call upon you in truth. You will fulfill the desires of them that fear you. You hear their cry and save them. You preserve all who love you, but all the wicked will you destroy and my mouth shall speak your praise. Let all flesh bless your holy name forever and ever. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, I exalt you, my God, my ruler, and I bless your name forever and ever. Alleluia. The Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, beginning at verse 18. So the council called the apostles and ordered them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered them, Whether it is right in God's sight to listen to you rather than to God, you must judge, for we cannot keep from speaking about what we have seen and heard. After threatening them again, they let them go, finding no way to punish them because of the people. For all of them praised God for what had happened. After they were released, they went to their own people and reported what the chief priests and the elders had said to them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices together to God and said, Sovereign Lord, who made the heaven and earth, the sea, and everything in them, it is you who said, By the Holy Spirit, through our ancestor David, your servant. Why did the Gentiles rage, and the people imagine vain things? The kings of the earth took their stand, and the rulers have gathered together against the Lord and against his Messiah. For in this city, in fact, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, gathered together against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, to do whatever your hand and your plan had predestined to take place. And now, Lord, Look at their threats and grant to your servants to speak your word with all boldness while you stretch out your hand to heal. And signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant Jesus. When they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God with boldness. Now the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions, but everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the apostles gave their testimony 
to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. And for the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Magnificat anima mea dominum. Alleluia. The Song of Mary, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, my soul proclaims your greatness. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant, and from this day all generations will call me blessed. You have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you in every generation. You have shown the strength of your arm. You've scattered the proud in their conceit. You have cast down the mighty from their thrones and lifted the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you have sent away empty. And you have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you remembered your promise of mercy the promise you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah and their children forever. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Magnificat anima mea dominum. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and Alleluia.